Okay, as Kathleen has given a general overview of the project, I will focus on the viewer as it constitutes the innovative part of the project accomplished by the BNF. First of all, I would like to thank the Polonsky Foundation and Sir for organizing this seminar. And I would like to thank again the Polonsky Foundation for having supported this project and given the BNF the possibility to work with the British Library for the very first time on such an extensive project. Uh, it has brought us closer together and we, in many, many ways. So, oh, um, yes, this is it. Uh, the BNF was in charge of creating a website dedicated to researchers using IIIF to compare manuscripts and to interact with them in all sorts of ways. Both the BNL and the British Library are member of the IIIF consortium since the very beginning in uh, 2010. Uh, it was for the BNF an incredible opportunity because we, we used IIIF for the very first time in one in, in, in the library. We choose a viewer called Mirador as it offers functionalities such as zooming, the capacity to compare up to four manuscripts simultaneously, to annotate content, to handle any type of document uh, from any digital library and interoperability is at the core of the matter. And uh, before reflecting upon the lessons learned from this project, I will make a very brief presentation of the viewer's main features and qualities. So you access uh, the viewer through the advanced church of the website developed by the BNF. Uh, this is a very important thing. The website uh, developed by the BNF is built using all the functionalities of Gallica, our digital library, which means that it evolves on a regular basis and it's also a very robust environment and sustainability is one of the issue of every project as you have to maintain the site for uh, many years. So you can make a, a search with a place name and involving both collection. Then you access a result list, you choose uh, a manuscript. And if you click on previous, you get back to the result page and you reset the viewer. And when you go to add item, you return to the result page, but you add another document for comparison. So here, for example, you have two manuscripts, one from the British Library, one from the, the BNF. But most more interesting is the fact that you can add up two more manuscripts and see four manuscripts at once. The vertical layout is given by default, but you can also uh, show them in, uh, in an horizontal view. But if you are on, um, no, I have to go back. If you are on, um, on a cell phone, you can only access two manuscripts. So here you can also see information and uh, metadata. You can view the manuscripts in many ways, image view, book view, scroll view, or gallery. And uh, then you can also download the document, one page or the entire uh, manuscript in PDF format. And here you have all the possibilities, all what you can do. You can share, share them, send them by email, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. You can annotate them. You can manipulate images, adjust brightness, contrast, rotate, change colors, and you can also crop images. If you crop images, the selected area is limited to one third of the image in order to avoid sharing or saving of the entire image in high definition. You can add a comment on, on the page. Uh, annotation can be modified, deleted. 
You can export annotation. Uh, they can be saved locally only. The file can be shared and you can also import them. And then you have a control check that tells you that it has been made, uh, it has happened properly. Images can be cropped, as I told you. And uh, I invite you to uh, browse uh, through the site later on. So the important thing, what have we learned about this experience with the British Library? It was not so much about building up the viewer because it was our duty, it was our task, it was not that difficult. But what we discovered along the way is that we don't use the same authority files and we had to undertake some metadata alignments to make adjustments in order to allow search in different languages. And moreover, what we discovered at the BNF is that Gallica is supposed to host all kinds of documents. So it couldn't adjust to all what we wanted to do with uh, the metadata used with manuscripts. So we had to use Dublin Core, which is very poor. And once again, we had to make another adjustment. So as a conclusion, I would recommend at the beginning of any project to make a cartography of the partner's standards and also within your organization to have a talk with your IT team in order to identify potential issues and limitation, not to deter you to go forward, but to foresee the necessary adjustment as your partners and your IT teams in terms of planning and workload, as we will have to dedicate time to solve issues. And especially if you have very strict, strict deadlines, as it is the case when you can sign an agreement, including milestones. So planning ahead gives you more leverage and less stress to carry out actions. It is also a plea for normalization and international standards as regional or local choices come at a cost in the digital age. And I guess that in this respect, we are all guilty. At the same time, we got closer together through difficulties Therefore, I guess it was also worth it and there are absolutely no regrets.